What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another spring season in Forza Horizon 4. So, we're out of the winter finally. It always seems like that's the longest week for whatever reason, but we're into the spring, into the sunnier days, and with that comes new races to do. We actually have a new car to unlock, so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the festival playlist. So you'll see here, we're 72% done with the uh, entire series, so we're just 8% away from getting the Toyota Torino. Uh, we're already 21% complete with the spring season, just because of the monthly rivals and the uh, online adventure that carries through the weeks. So at 50% you get the Renault Clio, and at 80% you get the Volkswagen IDR. Um, race car so we're definitely gonna be pushing for 80 percent here uh photo challenge is easy enough you're just taking a photo of your car at the viaduct the weekly force thon challenge deals with the 65 mini cooper s which is the barn find so do that at some point the trial sticks with the mini theme so you have to use mini cooper cars so we'll do that at some point as well we have a showcase remix. Looks like it's using the Porsche Porsche Macan, I think. I don't know which Porsche that is. But you're racing the train in it. For the seasonal playground games, your reward is the Charger Daytona. You get your typical PR stunts. For the GT Phone Home uh, Street Racing Championship, you get the Alien Morph Suit. For the Greatest Hits... Road Racing Championship, you get the Porsche 906, so definitely going to be doing that. And then the new car is the Firebird, or the 68 Firebird that you get for completing the Phoenix from the Ashes Racing Championship. So we're going to jump into probably the Phoenix from the Ashes and the Greatest Hits uh, series events today. So we'll go ahead and jump to the start line where the events start for Phoenix from the Ashes. We'll pick our car, we'll throw a tune on it, and we'll get started into that. All right, here we go. So the, we're at the start line. Let's check our restrictions. So it's gotta be a B-Class 700 and Classic Muscle. So let's jump into the Nova. I don't know if we can downgrade this since it's a Forza edition, but we're gonna find out. So let's go over to our tunes. Load setup. So there are B class tunes. Easy seasonal OP. Hmm. I'm gonna trust you, Grundy. Again, we've used a lot of his tunes in the last episodes. So there's a share code for it, for the Chevy Nova 4's edition. It's going to be 130-741-846. So let's go ahead and throw this on there. See how much money we're going to spend to downgrade our car. 37 grand. We'll make that up over the course of the championship. There we go. So we are set and ready. Let's go ahead and jump into it. championships of course all right so we got two sprint races and one circuit that's my ideal layout i'm not a big fan of circuit races man those are skinny front tires all right here we go festival horizon festival sprint jumping right on into it let's see how good of a tune this is So obviously we're all-wheel drive. Mustang has some really thick tires on it. Almost looks like a dually. It doesn't want to turn. Which isn't surprising with how small the front tires or how uh, unwide, not wide, I guess you want to call it. The front tires are. You don't have much to them. But again, this is a muscle car. It's supposed to be a drag car, really. Um, so, it being all-wheel drive is kind of a joke, so. But we're out the front, 28 
30% through. Doing good in our first race. Alright, on the final straightaway, we're still in first, but barely. This thing is rough around turns. I would just advise to use something different, probably. <laughs> Nothing against the tune, I'm sure it's just kind of something that has to be done, but there we go. First race done, let's go ahead and jump into the second. And here we go. This is the Ambleside Circuit, I think. Didn't pay that much attention to the actual name of it. This one might be a little rough for us, just with all the turns that are in the race. But, we'll see what happens. We just need to get out in front. Enough to where we can at least try to defend first place. Rough time catching up with them. Gotta hope for straightaways. I think we've got better power. Just can't get around these turns very well at all. Yeah, this thing is like a boat. Let's get past second place here. This is another reason I'm a big fan of circuit races. This is more of an, a, a turning battle here than it is racing, like straight line speed for me. And I like circuits because you actually have a chance to, you know, get long runs instead of bobbing back and forth. I mean, this is a really tight circuit. Some of them, or most of them, aren't this tight, so. This is definitely a fun circuit to do with more agile cars, but it's this big boat of a thing, it's not going not the funnest thing, I guess, so but we're in first so, can't complain too much other than just this thing not wanting to turn it's the only thing we can complain about, really, so one more lap and the last couple turns on this lap and we're still way in front, so there we go. Cross the line. The tires, the front tires are just so small. I think it would turn a lot better if they were just a little wider. But there we go. Let's go ahead and jump into the last race for this championship. Get that knocked out. All right, here we go into the Derwent Lakeside Sprint. So ending the race or ending the championship with the last circuit race. Guys are going too slow. I'll squeeze by on the inside. And right up to first. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Again, I like the springtime a lot better. I'm gonna try to do some eliminator videos during the springtime. I don't know if I'm assuming that the eliminator like takes place in whatever season it is, so I was gonna record some in the winter, but when I was going to record, there was only like two days left in the winter season, and I was like, oh, I'll just wait for spring. So that's what I did. So hopefully I'll have some of that recorded. Um, and have some videos coming out. Hopefully with some wins, or at least some better placements. I think the highest placement I've got has been 12th place, but I've only played the two games that I had recorded. So... Not too bad. You guys left me some helpful tips in the comments, so... Hopefully we can use some of those and, uh, you know, just do better from the start. So, about 40% through this race. Looking good. I like that there's not many tight corners. There hasn't been really one yet, so. Doing good with our boat of a car. Jumping against some air. Slow down a lot for that. But, yeah, I look forward to posting more of the Eliminator. Um, I'm trying to still go through some of the Horizon Story missions. Um, 
yesterday I posted the car files business. I don't know if there's any other businesses that I'm missing or if it's just the Horizon Stories now. We've got Lego Valley to get into. We've got um, Fortune Valley or Fortune Island, not Fortune Valley, um, to get into as well. There's just a lot in this game alone that I still have where I can still record and stuff. I think this will be the 38th or 39th Forza video that I posted on the channel. And so I want to like continue to do these seasonal events and record these because I think they're helpful. Um, and instead of doing like one event per video, I'm going to try to like get it to where there's maybe two or three per video just so that it's not just you know, a week full of just the Forza events. And I want to make sure you guys get them if you want to use the same cars and tunes or whatnot. You get them as early as you can to, uh, you know, be able to see what I used. But we did win there. So we got the Phoenix from the Ashes completed. That should get us the 68 Firebird. Um, but I also am trying to balance, you know, continuing the progression in the main... The main game as far as you know we still have all of or a lot of the horizon story missions and we have the two dlcs that we haven't even touched yet so and those are gonna take up a lot of video or can make up a lot of videos themselves so let's see we got level 199 we're almost to 200 and i think that's when we get set back to one so we'll have a yeah, okay so we don't actually make it to 200 we get set back to one at level 200 so let's see what we get out of our wheel spin here 175 grand we'll take that We're sitting pretty at almost 2.5 million we'll go ahead and like his tune it wasn't like awful it was fine i guess once i got more used to it but let's go ahead and jump into our next seasonal event and get that one underway all right here we are for the greatest hits seasonal event Let's take a look at our restrictions. So it is classic racers, sticking with the classic branding, I guess. And it's gonna be A class 800. So I don't know that I have any classic racers. Okay, I do. So A class 800. Hmm. Let's see what cars are eligible. I might go buy a car. Just because none of those are really speaking to me. Ooh, yes, we do have a car. Okay. One second, please. So this is the perfect time to grab our GT40 barn find. So it's going to be a I null car. Tales of what it was doing out there Still broke, but... Me. These things were designed and Here it is. The so the GT40 Mark the 1. From America. Did you know that? So let's it grab it. Ford. Nope, that's not what I want. Where? It's got a lot of Fords, huh? There we go. GT40 Mark 1. Let's throw a tune on it. Let's see here. Split it. Oh. I love GTs. They're just so cool. Oh, it's right-hand drive. That's interesting. Well, it's center drive, I guess. More so center drive. Didn't know that. So, all right. Let's throw a tune on it. So seasonal. There you go. You Grundy, we're going to give you a chance. And let's jump into it. So, oops. The share code 531171308. If you want to use the same tune, download and install. So this was a barn find like we just claimed it. So realistically, we are only in this car for 40 grand, essentially. And we'll get that back in the championship payoff alone. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And we'll see you at the start line of the event. Well, this is it. You really are one of the most famous drivers here at Horizon. That star you've just earned next to your name means a lot around here. Keep at it, superstar. Alright, well, I guess since we just claimed the car, we got 
uh, car influence or garage influence, whatever you want to call that. And we got to rank one. So now we are one again, but we've got a little star next to our name, which makes all the difference, right? So now we're fast traveling to the event and we'll get it started. You ready for a great championship this spring? What am I saying? You wouldn't have signed up if you weren't. All right, two sprint races and a circuit race again, so. Again, that's my ideal championship layout, I guess. If there has to be a sprint race, I just want one. Or a circuit race, rather. I just want one. Alright, jumping into the Derwent Reservoir Sprint. In our GT40 Mark I. We got all the old cars out here. This thing sounds so good. It's nice having speed again after driving the C-Class car, I think it was. I don't remember what... The, maybe it was B-Class. I don't remember what we just raced. I think it was B. So, having a little bit of speed back is nice. Being able to go around the corners a little quicker. Definitely a good feeling. Let the gas a little bit. Make sure we break. Looking good in the neighborhood. This car is really cool. I like this red too. It really just pops. Yeah, we're doing good. This is such an interesting little like seat layout. You've got the passenger seat to the left. Ooh, it's slow down. Ooh, right into the wall. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. Hmm. Only one windshield wiper. I guess you only need it for the driver, really. Got all these little switches. It's just interesting. Man, look at that scoop. That's crazy. I don't even know that I noticed that to begin with. But that thing is deep. the checkpoint. Went in a little too hot. Let's back up a little bit more. We're gonna start from here. Take this corner a little more responsibly. There we go. And we are 70% through the race at this point. And the drive guitars are really just falling behind, so... Last couple corners. Do a dual drift tap there, I guess. And go in backwards. There we go. So that's a win on our first event. Let's go ahead and jump into event number two. Here we go with race number two. Jumping into the circuit race seeing how quickly we can get it done. Passing on the inside. And we're off to the races. So this is the same track that I believe the Monthly Rivals event takes place on. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. I think that's what I remember from doing it back two weeks ago at this point. So, we're up into first for, you know, easy race. Shouldn't be too difficult. There's plenty of wide open straightaways. And I think we're well enough through these turns that shouldn't have any issues out of the drive tars. And we're rounding the last turn here for the final straightaway. Or rare bearing left straightaway, I guess, is what you would call it. And 
There we go. Cross line. Not an issue at all. So we're going to jump into the last event now. And finish up this seasonal event. And here we go with the Ambleside Sprint. And we're off. The final race of the seasonal event. Just gonna push that car out of the way. At the third, we're doing great. Right the butt, I think it's a Jaguar. Could be ooh, probably paid more attention. I think it's a Jag. And now we just got the GT40 Mark II, I think, is what that one is. And I'm just gonna pass it on the inside. There we go. Now we just have to hold off and defend first place. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. And we're gonna start taking off from them up these through these turns. Just because we're so much faster out of them than they are. And we're over halfway done with the race already. Get our apexes. There we go. This car feels pretty good to drive with this tune on it. It's a little squirrely. Um, I think just changing the tires out would do something. Obviously it would put it above A-class if we did that, but there we go. For a general use car, if you swap the tires out for actual street tires, I think it's on rally tires or vintage race tires or something right now, it would definitely be a ton better. But there we go. We won that championship or seasonal event, whatever they call it. So that should get us the Porsche 906. There we go. Got very big looking tires. And then we'll get the 40 grand. So that's where we made our money back. In that alone. But then you get credits for every race that you do. So we've made well over our money back. Go ahead and like. You Grundies, you Grundy, I guess. I don't know what his name is, but we use his tunes. We've used them for every event in the winter. We've used them for every event in the spring so far. So but we'll go ahead and end this video off there. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you want to join the Bomb Gaming Forza group, um, it's just the end game club. Make sure you go do that. You know, we only have three members, but we're looking to grow. If you want to be part of a community, you know, find people to play with, makes it a little easier, uh, stuff like that. Just go search for us in the club tab. It's just Bomb Gaming Forza Group. Um, but other than that, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you get subscribed if you want to see uh, any more future Forza Horizon 4 content. As I said earlier in the video, there is a ton of stuff that we can still do. Um, since we haven't touched the DLCs, we've still got story missions and such like that so make sure you get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for that but we will see you in the next video and have a great rest of your day